Hi guys, how's it going? Hey, welcome back to the den. Another Wednesday, another shave. And as you've seen by the thumbnail, we have got a good one lined up for you today. Oh, I say that every week, and they're all good, aren't they? Um, what happened was I was going to do the Saturday shave um, that I had planned for last Saturday this week, but goodies came last Saturday. Everything got switched around. I was going to do last Saturday shave today, but um, four separate people got in touch with me. Four, right? I, I, the most I've only ever had one. Four separate people got in touch with me, all independently of each other, and they all said, John, now that you've got the Gibbs replica razor, and we know you've got a, a sexy Rexy, Rex Ambassador, any chance you could do a comparison shape? So that's what we're going to be doing today. Sexy Rexy against Gibbs the Golden Boy. That's it. Um, generic balm we've got there. Put some Dracar Noir on. There. Here's the brush. Pew! Check it out, guys. It's a six shooter gun barrel bore brush. I'm not keen on that knot. Love this brush. Not keen on that knot. Thinking of trying to get it re-knotted. Let me know what you think of look good in there. I thought a black knot with red tips. Gunpowder and blood and everything. That, you know, my wife said to me, that's pretty sick, that. So there you go. That's the brush we're going to be using. I've put it inside the official John Shea Super Soaker. You've seen the razors. Erasmic shaving cream today. I, mean, I bought this and I don't think I've ever used it. And I've been trying to get around to using it. Do you know, I think it's actually been sat in there for about three years, this stuff. Uh, so I've no idea how it's going to perform. And I've no idea what board I'm going to do it and give me a minute. Back, here you are, all faithful. Just drop the towel, just a minute. Oh, typical, typical Wednesday shaves. Right, so now that's everything we've got. First order of the day. Fresh in from work. Nice cup of coffee, Seattle's finest. I've actually got Mayan, Mayan Colombian gold, I think is in there. Mm. Absolutely wonderful. You know what they say, guys, a nice cup of coffee can set your day off it. See, stick that in your Monday morning meal bag. Right, <laughs> let's go. What are we doing here? Come on, let's get this. Let's get on with this. Oh, there you go. Right. Uh, looks, actually, it looks quite... Looks quite Looks quite runny, just smells like a generic cream. I'm going to put a bit more in. Actually, just smells like a generic shaving cream. Nothing spectacular about it. So we'll put that in there. And then the blades. <laughs> Everything's out of sync, isn't it? Look, a Gillette Wilkinson sword in each one. So let's get this one open. And what I'm going to do, uh, we're going to start on medium setting. Right, I'm going to do four, five, and six on each one. I'm not really going to go on about blade gaps and this, that, and the other. You know what I mean? This goes one to six, that goes one to six. We'll figure it out. I'll put that one there. We'll put the Rexy. I'll mark them individually for certain things and then I'll give them an overall marking and then we'll see where we go from there. We'll see how... Let's get that. Look at that. These Wilkinson sword blades look a little odd to me. It's a strange one. Look, there you go. Right, no, that was not right. Now let's get that in there. 
Okay, we'll get that out of the water and we'll stand those two up in the cup just to get a little bit of heat into those plates. And then we'll whip up a lather. I'm not, like I said, I'm not overly keen on this now. We'll whip up a lather and then we shall start our comparison shave. Actually, once it got suggested, I kind of wanted to do it myself. Um, so yeah, I thought that Saturday shave from last Saturday, I will now just do this Saturday. That's looking okay, isn't it guys? Like I said, I've had it quite a long time. I actually had an Erasmic shave so, and I had it that long when I went, I went to um, use it and it all broke away, you know, like, a, like the crumbly cheese. We call it Lancashire cheese over here. I don't know if you get it, like a pure white creamy crumbly cheese. There you go. That will do. I went to first. Uh, what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd do this half. Rexy, that half gives it. So here we go first. Mmm. You yeah, scent strength on this cream. It's only about three. It's just a nice, fresh, clean, soapy scent, but this boar brush, from memory, it loves holding on to the lather. Although, as if just to, as if just to prove me wrong right now, it's not, is it? There you go. Let's crack on. Let's crack on. Good brush that, I can't remember where I got it from. It was gifted to me, it might have been Dennis Barron up there in Oregon. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, see where we're at with this. So we've got that one six and it's closed up all the way. We'll take it round to four. We'll do the first pass on four. The next one on five and the last one on pickups on six. So we'll just put we'll put that one there. Rexy's closed all the way. Right, let's I will put Rexy all the way around. Can you see that? On four as well. Okay. What did we say? This for Rexy that forgives it. I believe that's based loosely on Gibbs Razor's full stop. I believe that's actually a replica of Gibbs number 15. So they've both got Gibbs DNA. Look at that. They've both got similar heads. Check out the similar side views. That's them. That way. Uh, let's try and... I'm just trying to give you the best possible comparison that I can. That's all stainless steel. That's I think the stainless steel chrome and the cap is Zamac. There you go and that's what they look like. That one's a bit taller, definitely heavier uh, but once again there's the two heads. So let's crack on. Number four, here we go. First pass. Well I can tell you right now the Rex for me feels better. Um, like, like um, I like the both of them. Both of them are aesthetically pleasing, but I just love the way the Rex looks. I did a comparison video, and somebody messaged me and said. You only said the Rex was better because you paid more money for it. Not really. On that note, this was a gift, so I don't like mentioning the price, but Samantha said I can't. She paid £180 for, well, I, I bought it. She gave me the money, it was a gift. 
So he transferred the money over and I bought it. It was £180 because I got a good exchange rate and good shipping. It's £180 and this one was 50 I think, or 45 It came to about 75 with shipping, but I'm not counting the shipping. So roughly, roughly the uh, Ambassador was four times the price of the Gibbs. Right? Is it four times the shaver? I can tell you before we go any further, that's not going to be the case. Because this is an exceptional shaver. Um, I wouldn't say it was better than the Rex, but I wouldn't say the Rex was better than this. Let's just... To be honest, my way of thinking is, it's horses for courses, it is what it is, isn't it? Mm, they've got this pass down. It feels, feels pretty much the same, actually, guys. Pretty much the same, okay. Uh, right, so let's, uh, we'll go around and we'll take that. From four, I'll take it up to five. And the Gibbs, from four, we'll take it up to, we'll take it up to, can you see that? <laughs> right, well straight away, that, that wins, doesn't it? That wins because you can't miss that dot, but you can miss that one. So I would say straight away, there you go, there's one thing. There's one thing it beats the Rex up. Hmm. So how has your day been? How is your week progressing? I was doing okay. Busy. Always the same in the week. It bed and work, bed and work, you know. That's it, there isn't really a lot to talk about. Okay. The Rex was on this side. Right, yes, Rex. Rex was on this side. Here we go. I'll just try and be as uniform and as even handed as I can be. I'll be honest with you. I'm not expecting a lot of difference. Obviously, this one's lighter. Um, I have to be honest, guys. As it sits here right now, I'm getting more blade feel from the Rex. But I'm getting a good amount of blade feel from this one as well. It's just that I, personally, I think the Rex Ambassador is quite aggressive. Where, where you go. Okay. Do you know what? Have to be honest, the Gibbs is closer. Yeah, yeah. The Gibbs feels a little closer to me. Let's see. The final pass, and we'll see where we got the pass and the pickups. I'm not really going to count the pickups. But uh, I might do, actually. I'm feeling so inclined. Uh, right, well, I'll tell you what, this soap is so slick. It wasn't much, I got it from the pound store. Okay, here we go. Let's take that look nicely on five. All the way around. 
knocked it up a bit there. Absolutely bang on six. Uh, and the Rexy, can you see the dot on five? Wrong way. Let's take it all the way up. Can you see? We've got it on six. Here we go. Against the grain. Both feel very smooth. Right, um, Rex is coming into his own now. I can, I, I can feel it, guys. Yeah. Not done the Gibbs yet. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that because you sat watching me do it. But here we go. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good amount of blade feel there. Good amount. Here we go. What we're getting here. You see? Now well, listen, there's not I'm not as much blade feel there now. Yeah. Maybe. Just need to use it a little bit more. And dial it in. But the Rex definitely. I don't even know what the blade gaps are as regards these two. But the Rex. Definitely felt more aggressive on that number six. You see, I could talk about blade gaps, but really, when you get it, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, or six, isn't it? Um, here we go now. Yeah. Yeah, Rex definitely wins on the top lip, on the cheeks, on the, do you know what? Yeah, yeah, the Rex, the Rex is a, is a clear winner, uh, but there isn't, you can see there isn't much in it. There isn't much in it at all, so let's just do the usual suspects here. <coughs> Drop the Rex. All oh, fingers and thumbs here. Oh, yeah. Well, you can definitely feel it. Definitely. Okay. So, where we are. There's nothing there. There's nothing on the Rex side, there isn't. Okay. That's it. That's how we shave, guys. Oh, final analysis. I'll put some um, balm on. And then we'll shake down the breakdown, right? Here we go. Remember, there's nothing like a cup of coffee to set your day off in. Right. I'm not the only one who can come up with them. Are you? Right. I'm only joking. <laughs> I love Mark's already. And his Monday morning mailbag. I listen to it in my van out of my deliveries. There you go. This. Let's put a calf sticker on there. It's actually Boots Freshwood Aftershave Balm. Blends itself very well. Hmm. Whoa! Yeah. Wow. Do you know what, guys? There's, 
There's not, there is not a lot in it at all. I'm really pressing down and it's right after the shave. I'm thinking by the time these heads retract and I cool down in about 15 minutes, it's going to be spot on. I can't see that, but I'll do the lean in. <coughs> Empty that first so I don't get a wet belly. Look at that. That is absolutely BBS all over. All over. Right, here we go. The breakdown and the analysis. Now I'm only talking about me personally and about this shave. Me personally. I prefer um, the Rex Ambassador purely because it's heavier, it's chunkier, it's clunkier, it's grippier, and I just, I just, aesthetically, they are both absolutely beautiful, but I prefer the Rex. Uh, that wins without any shadow of a doubt on having the colours painted in. And the dot, four times the price, is it four times the razor? It's four times the razor, but it isn't four times the shaver. This shaved almost, almost identically. Um, if you had a gun to your head, and once again, I'm only talking me personally, a gun to my head, on the shave and only the shave, Rexy picked it. Um, if I was to score these out of 100, taking everything into consideration, if I sat down and thought about it, I'll give you a snap decision here. If I sat down and thought about it, that would probably come in at about 99. That'd come in at 100. Do you know what I mean? I do. I love my Rex. It's an, an ex, for me, it's an exceptional razor, an exceptional shaver. Love that too. But, right, but we're talking as it stands today, after having just done this shave and I was on a limited budget, which one would I buy? It would be that one. Absolutely. If you can afford that, you can afford it. But if you're going to stretch yourself, which do I get? Which do I get? It's not It's not worth the stretch. Stick with that one. Oh, excellent. You know, it's okay for me to say that. I'm in fortunate enough position that I've got both of them. So just to clarify again, the Rex picked it, but really, guys, there is not a lot in it. Not a lot in it at all. There certainly isn't four times the price in it for me personally. There you go. Draco Noir, here we go. Woo! Got to get the back of the ears. I'm not putting too much on because I haven't had a shower yet and I'm not going to waste it. I'll put some more on when I get out of the shower. And that is our shave, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've got both of them. Let me know what you think. And let me know what you think of today's shave. Good and bad. They're always a little bit rushed on a Wednesday. I do apologise for that. Just, it is what it is. Look after yourself, guys. And remember, be the change you wish to see in the world. And then you've changed the world. Oh, and also remember, a nice cup of coffee. Set your day off it. Bye.